Before this video starts, I want to announce that sponsor of this series is Zectorlab. They are a team of talented artists that excel in real-time character designs. They were also generous enough to give me and my community 30% discount on all of their products. You can find coupon code and link below in the bio. Also disclaimer, by purchasing these products, I will also gain percentage of the sale and with that you will be supporting growth of my channel as well. Thank you in advance. Enjoy the series. Hello everyone. I know these series are one of the most wanted ones, so I decided to make them. And thankfully we got sponsored by the Zector Lab, so we are gonna have the perfect model to play with. In this tutorial series we are gonna be doing everything that Horror AI should be doing. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Now, um, first thing that I'm gonna create is a project, and I'm gonna create it inside of the Unreal Engine 5.3.2 and it's going to be a third person template just so I have the character so I can walk around. We will be creating our character AI from the scratch without using any templates. This is just to walk around. Okay, so I'm gonna call this project name Zector Lab AI Series and we can uh, leave it as it is. So leave it as a blueprint, target platform desktop, quality preset, I'll leave it to maximum. Uh, we don't need starter, starter content and we don't need ray tracing. So let's hit create. Now it's gonna take some time until it opens. I'm gonna be right back when it opens. Okay, so it loaded. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to import my model for the monster. Now, if you don't have a model, you can follow this tutorial with uh, your own model or with uh, the mannequin model. But for this series, I will be using one of the Zector Labs models that they were very generous to give us. And in, if in any case you want to copy this tutorial along with that same uh, product, you can go to our station, link in the bio, and you can purchase the doll. And now I'm going to show you how you can uh, import that file once you buy it. So because you're going to be buying it from the R station, if you do, um, you will need to implement it by yourself because there will be no buttons to press uh, to add to your project like you would have in your market uh, in Unreal Marketplace. So uh, you're gonna get this uh, RAR file, you're gonna extract it in some folder and you're gonna be greeted with these um, files. And the only thing that you need to do here is right click on the cruel doll and this is as you can see type of the U project file you can open with Unreal Editor and now it's going to open up. So let's wait until it opens up. You can totally follow this tutorial without uh, buying the model. It's not necessary, but uh, I decided to use it for this project. Okay, so here, as you can see, uh, I already created some levels here. It doesn't matter. Uh, only thing that we need is this folder. So to move folder from one project to another, you need something that's called migration. So I can just left click on this folder, right click and press migrate. I can make sure that everything here is selected. I want uh, this to be migrated. So I can press OK. And now what I can do is simply I can find uh, my project that I just created. So if I go here, Unreal Projects. Um, also, you need to check where you put your project. Uh, my project is located in Unreal Projects. Um, but if you are not sure, you can always uh, go to your project and just uh, go to the content, sorry, to go all, and right click on content and show in Explorer. And you will see where your game is downloaded. Okay, with that being said, we can go back to the Cruel Doll. Uh, sorry, not there, but to the project, and we can um, go ahead and select our Zector Lab AI series, as this is the project we're going to be creating uh, our AI in. And inside of the content, you can click inside, make sure you put it inside of it. And here uh, I can just um, select this folder, and it's going to implement this cruel doll. I don't need to create any new folders because it's already going to be in folder. So if I press select folder, it's gonna say saving the packages into the destination. Now it's migrating slowly. 
And now once that's done, I can easily close this. And now I'm back in my, I can close this as well. I'm back in my uh, project. And as you can see now, we have cruel dough. So what do we have here? Have here? First thing that you get by getting this product is you're gonna get some animations. So if I pull, pull it inside of the level, preparing shaders, a little bit laggy, I can go ahead and go here and simulate. And as you can see, it's gonna play the animation. Animation is really nice. But yeah, this is the animations and we need to make use of them. So let's start uh, creating our project. Well, uh, we do have this cruel doll folder right now and inside of the blueprints we already have a character. So I'm gonna quickly just uh, pull this uh, into my content and I'm gonna create new folder and call it AI. So this BP that comes with this pack is already a character uh, so we don't have to create one but if you don't have one you can just create blueprint class character and then set up your character. Okay, so here we have this doll and we can open it up and here we can see this is our character. It's very nice, uh, very spooky and scary and it has some nice scissors there that are connected uh, to our skeletal mesh and they are socketed to scissor socket so if we want to play animation it's going to be just fine. It's gonna move with the hand. Perfect. So right now uh, this player doesn't do much because we literally have no functions so let's uh, start by creating AI controller. So when you want to move your character you have your player controller but our AI needs controller as well. So we can go to blueprint class and just create AI controller like that and you can find here AI controller and let's call it BPA, BP base uh, AI controller. I called it base AI controller with one reason. If we go into our BP curl doll now, we can see here uh, if we type AI controller, we can see we already have selected AI controller which comes with the engine, but we want this one, our custom one. So let's select the custom one. And while we are here, we can also make it so the controller uses desired rotation so it's more um, basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna make character uh, have smoother, smoother turns and we can disable use controller rotation Joe and usually we use this when we are creating a first person uh, scenarios uh, and characters uh, so we want to con uh, rotate the character movement with our camera but here we are gonna disable it and we got everything set up there and also let's tweak the movement speed because this is very fast I'm gonna put it to 250 okay so we have our uh, uh, character here and now we need to give him some function it's very simple we're gonna create custom event here inside of our AI and it's gonna be called follow player and all it's gonna do is it's gonna AI move to this node is used when we want to move our character to some destination in our case we're gonna pawn is gonna be self because we are referencing uh, ourselves uh, our pawn and here we are gonna uh, reference the player character so basically you on the level so this uh, this AI is gonna follow you so we can also make indicators so uh, we can print string here just to uh, tell player AI hunt begin and on success I'm gonna print string AI hunt success so this will just tell us uh, when the AI starts following and when the AI actually catches us. This is very simple and also I'm gonna add some delay here and after let's say two seconds we want to run this code again so we're just gonna call it again. But 
this code is not worth worthy of anything really if we don't call it on the begin play so we want to call it when this player uh, when this sorry not player when this ai spawns in the level we want to call this functions here that we just created so this is a very simple way of telling the player okay go follow me but uh, even if i put its right side into the level like this uh, we can see that character is standing on the ground just fine everything is good but if i press play nothing is going to happen and ai hunt begin but he cannot move so he did run the uh, custom event but he cannot move and it's very simple solution and that's new thing that we need to learn about the ai ai can only move on navigation mesh bounds volume so if we put navigation mesh bounds volume inside of our level and let's press r and scale it up to fit on our level something like that this will work i think just fine okay so as you can see it's like we are creating another volume uh, that you are used to but this one is navigation mesh volume and now how can we check if uh, we got uh, the correct um, playground for our AI? Let's call it playground. If I press P right now, I will see my character AI can go here. Where you see green, that's where he can walk. Where you don't see green, that's where he cannot walk. Like he cannot come here on this, but he can uh, walk right over there. So if I press P again, I can remove that. And now if I press play, character is going to run towards me. And if I full screen, it's very spooky character. And if I, um, okay, so she got to me right now. She's moving to me. AI hunt success. AI hunt begin. AI hunt success. Okay, so that's very simple. Um, in this uh, episode, we are just going to cover um, some topics of the AI. Uh, like we just did and uh, in the next episodes we're gonna cover a more uh, in details uh, animation blueprints state machines uh, blend spaces behavior trees blackboards etc etc uh, but for now let's try adding some animation let's just try and uh, give her just animation asset really and let's uh, give her the walk so this is just for testing as you can see, she is walking to us, but uh, she's too fast, so we need to lower the walk speed. This is uh, this is something that you're gonna see a lot when you are dealing with animations. You really need to make sure uh, animation look uh, good. So this is too slow, right? So let's see if uh, we can make it go 75. So playing with animation is all about tweaking stuff. And as you can see, this looks very, very clean when she walks like this. Um, sorry for that. That's just new editor window. So as you can see, she's walking to us, but there is not much to it. She just walks and then she resets. And that's all that we literally told her to do. So it's not weird, but here, uh, if you followed the uh, tutorial uh, as I did, you will have a small achievement and you just made your AI um, get to life. But this animation uh, is just a placeholder right now because uh, this animation asset, sorry, because we need animation blueprint uh, to control our character uh, more in depth later on to add uh, jump scares, attacks, um, uh, I don't know, crawling, etc. Uh, etc. Et you know. Uh, so yeah, um, right now that's it for this episode. Uh, we just set up our project and I show you around. And uh, if you want to follow this uh, project along with me, um, with these characters, uh, you have a link in bio. So you can get a 30% discount code with our sponsors. Uh, the models are insanely good. And as you know, guys, I would never uh, sponsor something that me myself wouldn't use or wouldn't like. 
I really like this. Uh, <coughs> I really like this uh, models from the Zector Lab, and I'm being totally honest with you guys. So I think this is very very good purchase, and you will never go wrong with this. So yeah, uh, this is it for this episode, and in the next episode we're gonna go more in depth. Get ready. <laughs>